okay? Because when the Lord sends his son, Yahweh Shai, down here, hey, it's a wrap. It's a, it's a complete closure for this white man, man. It's so, I use the term so called. Or this Edomite. He's going out of power, and the next thing is going to happen to him, and the whole entire race as a whole, just like how we went down as a whole entire race, they're going to go down into slavery under us, the Israelites, the real Jews. Okay? Go on. Uh, I'll finish off, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. Right, everything that's a beginning, and every empire had its start and it had its end. So it's the same thing with this world. Okay, we had a, this world at the beginning and now we're at the ending of it now. That's why the economy is running down to the crap. Okay, that's why people are, are unimmoral more than ever before. There's no standard here no more. Go on. And the end is manifest. And the end is manifest and we're just, reaching that, we're just about reaching that point. We're just about reaching that point, baby. Go on. I think it's in uh, some more now. I'll read the next scripture, yeah. yeah. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in yeah. wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Right, and effects and ending signs. So we're going to see the effects in the ending of signs. That's what we're going to see. Because we're not just regular guys out here. We're the prophets of God, man. That's what we are. That's why we're out here in these highways and the Bible to warn the people of what's to come. Now we can say, look, good times is going to come. Everybody's going to get together one day and it's just going to be joyful. Rainbow Coalition, all get together, hug each other. That's not what's going to come down here, man. What's going to come down is war and havoc on all corners. Okay? So that's just the whole thing. And, 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 if you, and if you notice some, all of the things that we as brothers have been talking about throughout the years, if you notice, it's all coming to pass now. It's all coming in effect. You know, brothers have been talking about the race wars happening. And look what's going on over there in Charlotte, what is it, South Carolina. It's intensified, man. And then also, we also talk, spoken about how you're gonna have people rise up against the government. That's gonna happen more so. That's why you have all these protesters um, against the, um, these, di these different protesters, they're, they're coming up against the government because they don't like the different um, things that are being passed and the austerity measures. So it's gonna happen, man. It's not no if or it might or it could happen, no. It's a guarantee it's gonna happen. Go on. Uh, that was your one, yeah. Yeah, that's it on that. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a guarantee that World War Three is gonna break out. It's a guarantee that you're gonna have a race ride in this society. It's a it's guarantee. Yeah, okay. You know, it's, it's not something that we're bringing out because we feel like it, no. It's, some, it's, it's factual. It's what's going to happen in this reality. Something's going to go down to where the elites are going to stage something to get your mind stirred up to do something silly. And then all hell's going to break loose from there. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to revert back to uh, this article. If you got, you got a piece of it. Yeah, so going back to this article concerning um, the North Korea situation in the U.S., so it says, um, the British civil, civil servants have been urged to start preparing immediately for the possible of declaration of war between North Korea. Let's read that again. The British, the British civil servants have been urged to start preparing immediately for the possible declaration of war between North Korea and the U.S. And it says, according to a report by the independent defense think tank, the Royal United Service Institute, in the report titled, Why the UK Needs to Be Thinking Now About a Possible Korean War, okay, it's a real possibility. So war is being prepared. So as I'm, as I'm probably speaking, they're getting everything sorted out amongst their military, or they probably getting another safe cyber attack ready to get this whole party going. You understand? So we're at, we're at the precipice and we're at the edge of the ending of this world or the destruction, the destruction that's been coming from the ending of this world. We're, we're right around the corner. Okay? That's why, I, and that's why if you notice, all these different cyber attacks are having more rapid, like a situation 
that happened in Barcelona, Spain. We had this um, one geezer, he was inside of a van and ran one, one person over and injured 32 people. And now what they're saying on the BBC, they're saying that um, the, um, the toll of deaths is going up. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's getting bad out here, man. And that's and that was probably an agent for Vakator to do something like that. Because they set up agents to get the, minds, get the minds of the people stirred up to do something silly. Go on. Luke 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights. Right, and fearful sights. People getting run down. People seeing unidentifiable objects. People having to deal with situations that they never could deal with before. So all these things are corresponding, man. All these different things. We should read that verse again. Luke 21 verse 11. Yeah. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, yeah. and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights. And fearful sights. And great signs shall there be from heaven. And great signs shall there be from heaven. Because as you know it as today. As you know it as today, you have more so-called UFO sightings than ever before. Okay. And you got other unusual things happening as well as. So we're in that time where things about the break loose. The Lord is showing us signs, the prophets, because they are they have the secrets, okay, to understand the times. To let us know that look, I'm about to make my way. How is Shah's about to make his second coming? Okay, and all hell's gonna break loose down in this world. Okay, and we are, and, and we hasten that day, as it tells you in Peter's the third chapter, we hasten the day of the coming of the day of the Lord. Because the sooner the Lord can come and do what he has to do down here is the sooner he can establish his empire, his kingdom, the everlasting kingdom, which we, which we will be, which we will be benefiting in that kingdom, because we're going to be ruling side by side with who we call Yahweh Shai and who the world calls Jesus Christ. Second Ezra 15, verse 15. Yeah. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, yeah. and swords in their hands. Right. That's your race. Right. You're gonna have one people standing up to fight against the other. It's already happening. I mean, it ain't happening on an on a, on a intensifying level, but it's gonna intensify. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Like that one Jake, he tried to shake one of them Edomites' hands, and um, them Edomites smacked him upside the head, or hit him with hit him with hit him with something. And, okay, he got them running down the street. Okay, because them Edomites they weren't trying to bring their peace. So we already here, man, because the Lord is already putting the spirit on these low peon Edomites, okay, to engage against Jake, man, on a warlike level. So that spirit is already there in the air. The Lord just needs to intent. The Lord just has to set up something to intensify the mindset of these people to get this war rolling. That's all it takes. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be this article. Yeah, so it says, and I'm, and I'm even going to say this as well, like, you know, across the offset, man, I mean, if, if there's anything going down, like a like some sort of protesting, you know, when it comes to Jake, don't get involved in that bullshit, man. Just let them niggas get on with it, and let them Edomites get on with it, man. You understand? Because at the end of the day, that's their thing. Our thing is just looking for the, looking for, or hell to break loose, so this shit can go downhill, man, so we can get out of here. That's the main aim, so I'm going to read this. Um, it says, the author Mokong Chalmer says the North Korea program is moving forward more rapidly and U.S. President Donald Trump's war of words with the rogue state, despite leader Kim Jong-un is doing nothing to reach his diplomatic solution. Because what did um, Donald Trump say? He said, look, you know, all of our military and our weaponry is locked and loaded. Okay, but those are those are what you those are what you call war like works, as the media was saying. So at the end of the day, you know, Donald Trump, his whole thing was is I'm gonna make America great again and rare, 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 I'm gonna bring back jobs, etc. No, he's gonna make America destined. 
that's what's going to happen. But Mosa put him in that position to fulfill that particular prophecy in Isaiah 34. How America is going to be totally desolated and it's going to become a four square mile desert. Okay. So he's the right guy for the job. Yeah, go on. Matthew chapter 2 verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath yeah. and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem mm. and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under yeah. according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Right, because um, during the time um, of, of Herod the king, which um, Herod the king was, he was what you call the, um, uh, an, um, a, 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 I believe he was an Edomite. Yeah, he was an Edomite. Well, he was what you call the tear. So this, you got a question, right? Right, right. But anyway, like I was saying, Herod the king was uh, was what we call the tear. You know, he looked he, he, he looked like an Israelite, but he his line went back to the ancient the ancient Roman um, generals, so to speak. So the thing with Herod, what his his whole thing was is that we gotta destroy the savior of Israel. But he didn't know who the savior of Israel was. How did he know that a savior of Israel was about to come? Because he saw the signs, he saw the moon. Okay, so that's how they knew, that's how he knew that a savior was going to come out of the line of Israel. And that's why he told the soldiers to go kill all the Hebrew babies. Okay. And that's when Yahweh Shai came in the midst because Yahweh Shai, the two parents, which was um, Joseph and um, his mother Mary, they were to take him all the way down to Egypt. Why? Because in, in ancient Egypt, not ancient Egypt, but 2,000 years ago, you had a community down in ancient, in that particular city in Egypt. Okay, they're going. That's the point. That's what Yeah, come on, come on. And that's what Trump is going to do. Because Trump is going pretty much. And I mean, I don't know if Trump. I don't know if Trump is that, is that same guy in the I don't know. You know? But Trump is going to pretty much unleash on Jake. That's another thing as well we have to remember. The thing with Donald Trump, you know, he may act like he's down for Jake and he's about this unification or whatever, but you could tell that Donald Trump, he's still getting tired of Jake's bullshit, man. Okay? And that's the whole thing about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to unleash the horns against our people. That's why it tells you in our eyes here, tell you that the Lord is going to give this man charge over him. So, those particular prophecies will be fulfilled by him. Okay, and that's what we believe in the spirit, man. That's what we believe. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. Um, yeah, so it says. Yeah, we go back to. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. So it says the report as if war did begin, the president would be <laughs> on the phone to 10 Downing Street within an hour asking for, for support. Why all is preparing for now for a range of possible scenarios that could unfold in the coming months? Much will depend on how the war starts. North Korea, for example, might relate if the U.S. shoots down the test missile being fired into the waters around Guam because Guam is an ally of America. And, you know, Guam, and I, and I mean, I knew somebody from Guam, you know what I'm saying, um, years ago, but um, that's, that's besides the point. The point of the matter is, is that um, I know that Guam is an, is an American, um, uh, one of those American countries, like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is linked with America, okay? So if North Korea hits Guam or whatever, then, hey, they're going to have, they're going to be given the green light to go against North America would have the North Korea. But like I said before, before we got this thing started, okay, is that North Korea ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, North Korea ain't gonna do a damn thing. North Korea is nothing but a um an underlink on the China. Okay, the, the, the um the main countries that we're supposed to worry about is China and Russia. Those are the two countries that we're supposed to worry about. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, at the end of the day, let's say if America does make up some bullshit and hit North Korea, then Russia's and China's gonna get in between that, and that's gonna be the thing right here. Yeah. 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 Okay, you got some. Besides, Joel 
verse 3 and 2 and it says I will also gather all nations right I will gather all nations go on and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. Yahweh Shaphat yeah which is, with, which is um, within the Persian Gulf the, around the Middle Eastern region okay which is what they also call the um the Tammuz the Tammuz River which um the apostle the ball was going into that you know which makes a, a lot you know which makes prophetical sense come on and I will plead with them there for my people and I will plead with them there for my people now if you look up that term plead the, the Hebrew word there is Shaphat which means um, judgment. So the Lord is going to judge those nations round about within that region because of what they've done to us throughout the years. Go on. I will plead with them there for my people yep. and for my for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations right. and parted my land. And that's the bottom line because in in Israel you have the you have the you have the Israelis there, you have the those, um, those so-called Palestinians there. Okay, which they don't really belong there anyway. We belong there, the so-called Latino people, the so-called Negroes that were sold on slave ships, okay, or were put on slave ships. We deserve in that land. That's our land. Okay? We were there 2,000 years ago and prior. So we belong to that land. But, yeah, so on. Yeah, you got any more now, yeah? Okay, I can read more about, I'm trying to make the point about all nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About how all nations are going to be involved one day or another into this thing. Yeah, they're going to be involved. Every last one of them, because see, you got this thing going out there how um, these different countries they're trying to make peace with each other, or they're trying to come to that that um, that point where they where they've come to a point of peace. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen because if you notice, every time you hear about this sort of thing, where these other countries they try to conspire to bring about peace on their side, if you notice, there's always another situation occurring out of that peace that they're trying to establish. If you notice. Why? Because it's already written in the book of Joel, the second chapter, and the third chapter, for these things to come in effect in terms of the nuclear war. You see? So, um, yeah, get, I'll tell you what, read Joel, the second chapter. Let me read this real quick. Yeah, read that. I guess that. It's uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 mm. and, uh, and 3. Mm. For when they shall say, peace and safety, yep. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. There you go. As travel upon a woman with child, and go. they shall not escape. So read that verse again. That, that, um, that, what, what verse is that? What's the um the chapter in it? Uh, Second Thessalonians five and three. And, okay, and okay. three. Yeah. Second Thessalonians five and three. Read it again. But well, when they shall say peace and safety, huh. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah. As travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, and that's the bottom line because. They're trying to come to this. They're trying to come to this um this way where they can bring about peace and, and safety again. But the Lord ain't gonna bring about that sort of scenario. The Lord is gonna bring about a different scenario, and that scenario is gonna be a nuclear war. That's the end. That's the end all be all, baby. You see what I'm saying? So get me um what is it? Job 14, Baba Kusha. Because this all alludes back to the main topic I had about the empires of the world. And I'm not going to talk about the ancient empires. I'm going to talk about this world because we're in this world today. So we're going to deal with this world. Okay, go on. Job 14 verse 5. Yeah. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Right, his days are determined and the number of his months are with thee. Who is the thee? The most high. Just like, for example, when you understand something, when you read the book of what is it? That is the ninth chapter. It tells you on how um, Jeremiah ended his 70 years of prophecy in um, Babylon, okay? Well, I think it was 63, yeah, it was 63 years. Yeah, 70 years, but it tells you, like, when you, when you read certain prophecies, it shows you how um, the Lord cut out seven years from among that kingdom, which was 63. So, the Babylonian system only lasted for 63 years. So the Lord, can, the Lord can have it to where this particular empire can go for that amount of time, but he can cut the time. That's why, that's why if, you, if you want, you can read that verse again. What about Pasha? Job 14 verse 5. Yeah. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Yeah. Thou hast acquainted his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah, so look up that word determined for um, one minute. What about Pasha? I 
wonder what happened over there. My bad, I don't mean to get up so I don't mean to, I don't mean to lose focus like this. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, what verses what verses would you read? Job 14, verse uh, 5. Yeah, the word um, is corruptizar. The Hebrew word is corruptizar, which means to cut, sharpen, decide, decree, determine, maim, move, decisive, be mutilated. Which really means to cut. So the Lord has a set time cut for Esau to rule this planet. Okay, and that's why I'm applying Job 14 to this empire here because we're in this world. Because there's a certain time that the society um, has set to root for. Okay, and once they once they reach to that that time limit, then we're going to see the differences from the worst of this empire going downhill. That's what we're gonna see. As we see right now, we see the um, the situations alluding, um, alluding the um, what is it, the Virginia situation, and the um, the situation that happened in um, Charleston, South Carolina. If I'm saying it correctly, okay, with this racial situation and other situations, alluding, okay. But it, everything's gonna get worse in this world amongst the people, and before you know it, hey, it's gonna be it's just gonna be a complete closure from there. So, so read that. I tell you what, uh, you hold the camera, you, you have to read. <coughs> we gotta change it up, you know, the spirit, you know. You get me on this stuff in Job 14. And read the spot, okay? For sure. So, you know, like, if you can hold the camera for the mic sync, it's just gotta pull a mic. Stop with the fifth Job 14 and 5, yeah. it says, As seen his days are determined, yeah. the number of his months are with thee. Yeah, the number of his months are with thee. So the most side knows when um, when, when this society comes in and when it's going to go out. He knows the exact time. All right? But guess what? That's why it tells you in Matthews, I believe, is the, the, uh, the 20th chapter. It says, No man know of the hour know the time when the son of man coming but the lord only knows that see that but the way that we kind of somewhat know that we're in the ending of this revival of ancient rome or we're at the ending of this revival of ancient rome is um by the signs that we see so that's how we can indicate or it's not cannot indicate but that's how we can somewhat know that we're approaching the end of this world by signs we see more of that intensified so yeah you read that i think that's the point of that actually Thou has appointed the bounds that he cannot pass. Right, there's a bound, there's a there's a time limit which this man has. Okay, this red man, there's a, there's a bound that he cannot pass. As it states in Psalms 47, it says that they think that the houses shall continue. Okay, forever. So we're gonna um I tell you what, brother, if you can um hold what you got and get me Psalms 47. Come on, Bishop. Psalms 49 and 11, their inward thought is right, that's it, yeah. uh, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and that dwelling places to all generations they call lands after their own names. And who is this talking about? Because who called Africa by their own name? A Roman general, but a 
Roman general, but she was an Edomite, Neo Scipio's Africanus. America, for example. He named America, an Italian navigator by the name of Amerigo Vespucci, another Edomite. So this is talking about the Edomites. What do you think in their endless parts of the house shall continue forever? I mean, they believe and think that this society or their, or their tabernacle or their system is going to continue forever. But the Lord has a certain bound, according to Job the 14th chapter, that they cannot pass. All right? Go on. Job 18 and 5 and it says, Yeah, the light of a wicked shall be put out, yeah, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Yeah, wow, um, yeah, so it's showing me right there the light of the wicked shall be taken out. And and y'all, uh, yeah, read that verse again one more time. I want to get it. Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, yeah, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Right, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The wicked is talking about basically the red man, okay? The red man, which are the Edomites, because, you know, you got these people, right? You got these red people, they like to name um, the Native American Indians as the red people, but they're not red. When you actually look at the Native Indians, they're actually brown skin, okay? They're brown skin, like all of us are brown skin. Different shades of brown. Now, the only red people on the earth are those that are calling themselves Europeans, okay? Or they used to call themselves the ancient Romans. They're the only people that's short on the earth, okay? And it, and also their real name is Edom. So that's referring to Edomites, man, that scripture right there. Well, we're not referring to Edomites, but I was saying, you know, according to the Bible, they're known as the wicked. And we're gonna prove that for a fact. Give me Malachi the first chapter. We're gonna prove that. That Malachi 1 and 4, mm. whereas Edom said we are impoverished, mm. but, we, but we will return and build the desolate places. Mm -hmm. That saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, right. and they shall call them the border of wickedness. That's it right there. So that's how you know who the wicked is. Okay, because you have three sorts of men. Okay, you have the sons of the most high, you have the sons of the wicked, and you also um, have the sons of men, which are the actual other nations. So those are the people that cover this whole entire earth. Okay, those are the same people that Noah, by his, you know, by his um, three sons, repopulated the earth. All right. So yeah, now um, you got something else, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That job 9 and 24. The job 9 and 24, and it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where?